So here we are again in another interview with WhatsApp and how to get to know better about Mobile Ecosystem Forum, if not with the Sir <laughs> Dario Bet. Am I saying your name correct? Bet? Dario Bet, yes, yes. I'm Italian. So you... Italian! You can... From yes. where? In Italy. Nice to meet you, finally. Okay. Dario Bet, si, sì, per favore. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I've seen you many, many times in many of the events of the Math Mobile Ecosystem Forum. So thank you for your time. But so please tell me, uh, what exactly you do there? How is it for you? Yeah, well, thanks for having me here, first of all. It's, a, it's a fantastic to have a chat. And uh, well, how has it been being there? I don't know. You know, <laughs> Math, one of those strange things where I remember it's always been around. It's like uh, I probably started working in mobile in 99. And uh, in about 2000, I, I met two people, uh, Rima and, and Rubad, telling me we are organizing something in associations of everybody. And, and listen what it is. And since then, uh, I throughout my career, in uh, eventually I was then a consultant, then I became a mobile, uh, working in mobile operators. I always been a member of MEF. So it was like 20 years of, it's a part of the family or a furniture. I don't know, you tell me. So <laughs> by, uh, I didn't know exactly how, but they voted me in the, the board uh, of MEF. And I, at one point um, when the previous CEO left and then the Joanne stepped in for a while, and then they asked me to become uh, the, the CEO. So it's like, I don't know exactly how it happened, but I can't imagine not having MEF around. Is that one of those? Oh, those wow. It, it, you sound like like magic, simple. Yeah, I was part of the board, and then great, it's math. Well, I, 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 I could tell you that if there was a big plan behind it, but no, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it, nobody I think was uh, that smart to plan it all in advance. Mm -hmm. But it, it's a great thing, and I think probably it shows if you don't understand, or if you don't understand what we're talking about, math, the mobile ecosystem forum, I should just say it is, it's a trade association, it's a not-for-profit, it brings together members, uh, which are any type of members, although it's history, we just looked at mobile operators, but banks, uh, software companies, content providers, uh, communication service providers, solution for the B2B, solution for the B2C, anything. But we all believe that there is a great potential in mobility in the mobile telecommunication. And that's what we're talking about. Now, uh, so many companies are here, many companies are discussing, um, but MEF um, doesn't have a, a specific agenda. It, MEF doesn't have you know, a clear um, remit apart from let's discuss and make sure that we, we understand the sustainability. We talked about sustainability way before it was a trendy thing. Um, it were, when it, we thought it was untrendy, we just said, we need to put the consumer first. And in uh, the early 2000s, the consumer was probably not particularly having a, a fair deal in some of the uh, content services, which were great for us, we tell everybody. But we've seen that we need to make sure that we understand the potential of this market, but also protect it because people are getting rebuffed by some people that are not very uh, careful on the way they uh, produce their services. And then it became other things. Eventually, recently, we've been talking about personal data and how to protect it, GDPR. More recently, about the world of messaging. And here is you guys, it is Telecom. Yeah. Uh, Fantastic message in market, and get, guess what? We got it right. I think it's the third time in a row we got a, the understanding from our members. So this is going to be very big and very important. And we also got the understanding that again, cleaning the system and making sure that people know what to do. They don't burn your brand because that's the worst thing you can see. You can just actually, you know, risk of losing customers if you're not careful on how these messages are delivered. So that's one of the things we're doing now. But um, all of that keeps on happening without not having an agenda, but having the opportunity for people to meet and to discuss. So it's great to meet you. It's great to discuss with you. And guess what? All of that is just pretty much the you know good people that come together at math realizing that they have a common goal and sometimes a common goal is in educate the market stop that behavior etc um so it's quite nice it's a bit like a it is a forum in italian it would be a piazza it's you a piazza. you come and See? have a coffee 
um, you, you come and talk and then you realize what you can really do as a community. So anyway, about me finished. I, I shouldn't say <laughs> there, Thanks for giving me so much time to talk about math. I can continue, but, uh, yes, um, no. but maybe I should let you speak as well. No, no, thank you. And I completely agree and appreciate what you're saying. So it's basically just important people, decision makers, thinking about the consumer, like how to change the industry, how to take care of, which is amazing. Thank you for doing that. It is a must when we need it. Okay. Uh, you said you started like in the um, 90s and 2000s. Yeah. And you said one of the change was, as before, you were not that focused on the consumer. Is it the biggest change you have seen in the, in the industry? Well, we, we started looking at consumer mostly. It was all about B2C at the time. Like the, the great thing B2C. in 1999 mm -hmm. was everybody was talking about, oh, yeah, you have your, your PC, you have your mobile phone, uh, and you have your fixed phone, but the mobile phone is a little toy. That was mm -hmm. the and it wasn't really it's a nice thing to have but come on the serious business has happened somewhere else now the first step uh, was actually telling and now look at consumer services are going to be pretty big telling people at the time i remember i used to do it that there's going to be advertising on mobile phone people were just laughing so really <laughs> what advertising is you joking no way. Or, or even saying, um, yeah, we're talking about a long time ago when the grandparents were around and uh, and saying, I had a big dis debate at one point whether SMS was going to be a, a fad. I said, no, people, no way that people will want to send messages. And it gone on and on. And later, I think, they, uh, the, the, obviously, by 2010, we had the release of smartphones. Then at first, we had Google, um, iPhone, etc. So the Android, the, the system was when people really realized that it was going to happen and big time but the uh, challenge then moved because what people didn't understand okay consumers are going to be happy with mobile phones you know and mm -hmm. they're going to do their own things but it's games it's things it's having fun it's apps we're fine and you have data only to realize later that it wasn't just that it was everything so your website had to be think with a mobile idea first not the pc and if you were a an enterprise you should think about mobile first because that's eventually where your consumers were or even where other enterprises or the people working in other enterprises were simply accessing through their work on, on their mobile phones. And that's where we came. So consumer was a main challenge in the 2000s, let's say. But the 2010s, everybody started realizing that actually it was the enterprise that we really also need to look at. So we have both of them, and I'm not surprised. It, I would even say that there is another element happening now within um, after the pandemic specifically, which is if B2C, consumer, was a first, B2B, business, was a second, mm -hmm. now we have B2G, government. G. Government. Yeah. Now, um, the government, with those big things until now, until the pandemic, really, they didn't have to consider seriously the question of mobility. Well, in some markets, not all, um, things are different. In some emerging markets, all of your consumers have probably jumped the fixed and went straight to accessing internet via mobile. So actually, identity services, tax, mm -hmm. tax services are accessible via the mobile. But that wasn't true everywhere. Um, as of the pandemic, it became so clear that what they have to do, they, they have to think of that. So again, now we have many more um, services available for the citizen, for, from the government, available um, via mobile or in a mobile specific way. Um, and that's a challenge for us as well. And we're going back to talking about it because what that has seemed to have generated is uh, I've seen the numbers of 350% increase in uh, fraud attack. For 350%. Yes, on, specifically on the, the government services, you know, pretending mm -hmm. to be a tax system, trying to steal your data, uh, pretending to be the, um, your health system, anything. Mm -hmm. So trying to say that you know, the government wants you to pay or will send you to jail. All of that is happening right now, and fraudster, fraudsters are making lots of money. And that back, the industry is trying to find solutions with that. And for instance, I mean, if you are working again in messaging, as I think in this, in this, no, yeah. 
well, two-factor authorization is one way to make sure that you protect some of that. Um, no, there are do. ways as well, but um, so here we go. Our history, as you asked us, from consumer to business, yeah. and I now government. Say, yeah. Yeah, and we, as scientists, we do the best we can to avoid the spams and the fraud. We do everything and do it together with math. Let's do it together. Hopefully, they stop this annoying. Because in the end, we are both consumers. You don't want to receive the message, Anna, and I don't want either. So I believe the whole world. And uh, and we have actually, you know, I have some numbers I should show you at some point. Maybe do you remember email? Because it looks like I'm talking about something. <laughs> I can email. buy a member email, yes. Okay, well, actually, if you're, if you're a business, uh, we will publish and we will have an update. You're probably using, even in business, less and less emails. And one of the reasons why you're using less and less email um, is because there's too much spam. There is too much fraud. I have received three fake voicemails today. I was just cl clicking on that. Somebody's pretending to be a voicemail service, hoping that I'm going to click on it, and then me downloading some, uh, and that, you know, uh, I just don't <laughs> feel less happy about uh, these. Um, I should probably say, we have a um, report available to everybody which shows the different trends. And if I'm not mistaken, the number of SMS users in uh, January for the first time overtook the number of email users. Oh. And that's, and I'm talking about active membership because the email has always been so spread, but all of a mm -hmm. sudden people are, are starting to using um, OTT applications at work you know, uh, or, yeah. you know, you might have things such as Teams or Slacks and so on. Emails is actually being shrinking, but the number of emails being sent to your account has not been shrinking. So that's No, right. yeah, they're still sending more emails. I actually been in the same position where I knew people that they didn't have emails. I was like, what do you mean you don't have emails? I don't need it and I don't want it. And it makes sense. Well, and, and why not? I, I'm, I think it's very different with age as well. Yes. Uh, so and we we cover that if you're much younger and I can see you being so young that probably thank you. Um, <laughs> you probably have other platforms. You might have a social network for your friends and so on. And email is something you might have somewhere just for receiving something like tickets. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but the the big lessons for us is, I mean, when I was you know, a, a bit younger, um, I never thought an email was gonna you know, have a beginning and an end. We're not the end, but it really seals. Mm -hmm. what, what has happened there? Well, we, we, we've seen it. Spam, fraud, these are the two main reasons where people naturally move somewhere else. Too many messages make it very difficult and confusing to, to read and to find mm -hmm. you. Um, fraud make you much more careful about clicking on things. Yes. Compare that with the SMS word now. We've been much safer until now, and partly because operators were having a, an, an access fee charge. You cannot send millions of spam messages, etc. But we know that it's changing, and that's why Intis is signing a code of conduct from F as well, which um, quite a, about 30, 40 companies are now signing, and we hope many more will, which is helping to say we as an industry don't want to let SMS have the same um, you know, end or so to speak, story as an email because that's oh, yeah. not for us. Um, so uh, I want to talk about good things, not just about bad things. I'll like <laughs> email story, which is not the best, uh, but who knows? Somebody will work it out and make everything so clean on my email account as well. I hope to see that day. No more spam. No, yeah, hopefully. But you're going to talk about good things. So next thing I want to know about you is hobbies. What do you do besides work? What do you, you make know, like for fun? I have time outside work. <laughs> Some people yeah. do. You don't know that. <laughs> well, no, we, we, we try to think it's very important to have to, um, to have a life outside work. It has been very busy at math because mm -hmm. in the last few years, well, everybody was at home. But everybody was not able to connect. And back to the questions of we are a forum, we let people meet. Once mm -hmm. you cannot meet on a regular, you, you used to meet in restaurants or in airport lounges, traveling, in conferences, and all of that was not and happening. Back in the old days. 
Uh, so we, we, we tried, uh, and uh, it's, we are a small team, a very small team, but we try to give a few options for people to actually interact. And uh, it has been very successful, so we've been very happy. Now, if only I had a more interesting life and less of a, less of limitations as I've been, um, there will be certain things that I do like to do, yes. And I, I studied um, media and media management, which surprisingly enough, there was a lot of telecommunication in that and so on. And that's because I, I love anything which has got TV, cinema, yeah. or, and, and actually a bit of geekiness and computer and so on. So I would have probably gone to the cinema much more. Mm. I would have been uh, traveling to see a few more uh, conference and events and little things that I do like. Um, what I did find out that I did, I never had no planned, is, okay, I use a brand, I did Lego. I should show you some of my Lego. Love yeah. it. Uh, so, yeah, okay, I might sound like a little kid, but they are uh, grown-ups. I, I do the same, yeah, yeah. it's for grown-ups. It yeah. is for grown-ups. <laughs> well, I, I do, um, I, I do like Spaceship and Star Wars Lego. Star and that Wars, been love my it. Little, my little 10 minutes, 20 minutes in the evening where I said, it's nothing to do with my work. Now, let's build it. Yes. Uh, what you like it is got as clear things that you have to do and you can find out. <laughs> mistakes and so I have to undo it and I love to break my usual days now uh, as you cannot hopefully see as much I'm uh, overweight and not running anymore but soon I can tell you I will be out there doing some exercise um, <laughs> that be the, the other things that I am not doing I used to do slightly more and we'll see what's gonna happen take a but time that's my life I mean um, a bit of kicking it and eventually a bit of going out, cinema, seeing friends, etc. Well, hopefully a bit. Of, well, uh, during the pandemic, you did your Legos. I love them. Star Wars. I did one. It was just a, a Batman and a, whatever. I also like it's puzzles, jigsaws, jigsaws, puzzles. Big ones. You know, it's the same feeling, I guess. So just relax, do your things. I think I need to consider that. And I need to clear up some of my desks so I can <laughs> face and do it. Yeah. Uh, but I can see if there is a lot of similarities in there, just looking at the pieces. Yeah. I yeah. agree. But you, you, you follow the next. Dario, thank you so much for your time. It was amazing to have you here. We should meet up sometime because you're in London. I'm in London. Go to watch a movie or something in this industry that you like. Why not? We'll do, and uh, I'll ask you for more details on where to start with the puzzles. So you tell start me with my small ones, yes. Don't go to the 5,000 yet. <laughs> I'll wait for your information then. I'll always wait. And uh, let's for, let's for. pick up soon. Huh. Yes. Well, thank you guys for watching. See you soon. Thank you. <laughs>